Television is sponsored by Columbia, Omni Heat Electric, warmth at the touch of a button. Mila, making premium German appliances since 1899. And by sportinglife.ca, your lifestyle store. Hi everybody and welcome to another week of Ski Television. I'm Chris Robinson. This week we travel to Whistler, British Columbia. Whistler receives huge amounts of snow. They've got big vertical and a world-class village at the base of the mountain. You know, if you've never skied Whistler, it's almost like you've never gone skiing. Joe Lammers is there to tell us all about what's going on at one of the world's best ski resorts. Later in the show, Josh Foster is along with his weekly ski tip. This week, Josh takes advantage of a lower light situation to talk about feeling your way to balance throughout your turns. After that, Brian Stemmel joins me for the Alpine Report. We're going to discuss the Canadian Cowboys, and we'll talk about one of the greatest Alpine skiers in the world today, Axel Lund Svindal from Norway. After Ski Television, be sure to stay tuned for FIS World Cup Freestyle Skiing here on Sportsnet. Jeff Bean joins me for that. But right now, let's go to Whistler, BC. Here's Joe Lammers. Is Whistler the best because it's the biggest, or is it the biggest because it's the best? Well, I think it's the latter, and there's a reason why I lived here for 17 years, and that's because the skiing rocks. And it's early season here at Whistler Black Home, and the coverage is already great, but there's more to do here at the Just Ski, and we're gonna show you. Anyway, welcome to Whistler, everybody. Whistler Black Home is a resort in a class of its own, and is, without a doubt, one of the world's greatest ski and vacation destinations. Consisting of the two mountains of Whistler and Black Home, the resort offers visitors over 8,100 skiable acres, a one-mile vertical drop, a pedestrian village, and off-slope activities too numerous to list. As a result of hosting a 2010 Olympic Games, Whistler is now considered the center of high-performance snow sports in Canada. One of the most iconic buildings here in Whistler is the Fairmont Chateau Whistler, which happens to be where I get to stay this week. And it's located at the base of Blackcomb, which is only half of the North American Tag Team Championship Ski Resort team that is Whistler Blackcomb. And with over 8,000 acres of skiable terrain, there's something for everybody. So we're skiing 7th Heaven over here on Blackcomb, and locals early season tip, it's a place to ski because it sees the sun all day long with its south exposure. So I should say that it's early season still here at Whistler Blackcomb, and the skiing's already awesome. In fact, they have more terrain open than any ski resort in the world. That's right, the world! <laughs> And there are a few reasons to check out Whistler Black Home early season. A, there are no crowds. B, the skiing's awesome. And C, you're likely to find some great deals on lift tickets and lodging. Now, I gotta meet someone over on Whistler in 11 minutes, so I gotta boogie. And good thing for me, 11 minutes is how long it takes to get from Blackcomb to Whistler or vice versa on the newly installed Peak to Peak Gondola. Now, since this thing was installed a few years ago, it's broken all sorts of world records from highest span to longest span. And to add to the flavor, a couple of the gondolas even have glass bottoms to heighten the experience. Get it? Heighten the experience? Uh, you don't know funny. So a bit of context here. I actually lived in Whistler for the better part of 20 years and I get asked all the time, do you miss this town? And the answer is yes. But what I miss most are the people. I couldn't find any of those people, but I did find Mike Douglas. <laughs> actually, he's a good old buddy of mine. He's a super mega pro skier. And he knows a thing or two about early season skiing. In fact, uh, you were working on a project lately, weren't you? Yeah, we, uh, we did a project up here on the peak of Whistler, the highest point on Whistler Mountain called Embedded. And uh, they put me up here in that shack behind us over there for six days and six nights to document the start of winter leading up to opening day. So what were we trying to get across anyway? Well, the goal of Embedded was to kind of get the word out uh, that Whistler Blackham had good early season snow. So they 
uh, got me to move up to the top of the peak here, live in that little patrol shack over there, and uh, and literally document winter. I had three cameras up here with me, and I was out with the operations team, patrol, snowmaking, grooming, um, just kind of trying to show people what it's like up here in early November. How was the weather? The weather was actually perfect. We had some sunny days, we had a bunch of snow, we had a huge storm that I was I really wanted to ride out and I can tell you that the storm reached at, for about two hours. I actually thought the windows were coming in. I, I legitimately got scared so uh, you got to be careful what you wish for sometimes. Yeah. The hut's been shaking, the windows are flexing and uh, really the only thing keeping me going right now is knowing that this place has been here for a long time. Holy crap. I actually checked out a few episodes online and it looked like he had some good skiing. Yeah, Whistler Blackcomb got a ton of early season snow, as usual again this year. And uh, yeah, to be able to rip around the mountain and rip it up before anyone else got up here was, uh, was definitely a treat. Ski was great. Cool, so how was it received by the public? Oh, the, the uh, reception was amazing. I mean, everywhere we kind of looked uh, on the internet and all over the place, people were talking about it and, and appreciating the sort of creative approach that we took. And uh, it was cool. I was up here in the, in the shack and I actually had high-speed internet. And so I could go on my Facebook and see people sharing it and commenting about it and even throwing some comments on myself. I actually read about that Facebook. It's a fad. Trust me, it's not going to take off. You might be right. Coming up more from Whistler Black.